morning. It was very, very cold. It was hard to get on the truck to go for the drive. And we almost didn't see anything until the end when we saw a leopard. And the lion. The lion was eating something on the side. We couldn't understand, maybe some kind of antelope, but we didn't see it well. And then a lot of vultures. Uh, there's monkeys in the camp and we have to be careful because they can steal your your, your things. Well, more, more than your things is that they can get food and if they learn that and use the babies. <laughs> I'm, I'm in love with monkeys. You're gonna see a lot of videos of monkeys, I'm sorry about that, but I'm in love with them. Definitely in love. Oh my god, so cute. Yes. It's still winter now in uh, South Africa and here winter means cold and dry. So it's the dry season and it's colder than summer. And in theory, it's one of the best seasons to spot animals. And that's because being dry, there's, the bush, you know, is less lush. We are feeling so very sorry for this giraffe that we found that has an infected wound, clearly. It seems to be, you know, healing in some way, but the giraffe is kind of lame, so I don't know. I'm a bit sorry.
Unfortunately, no work today because what happened is the guy at the reception when we checked in at the park basically put the wrong living time on our liability paper, liability form that we have to fill and give the guides when before leaving, basically. And so when we went there, they had already left since 10 minutes. We were actually earlier than we had to be, but that's what happens. But we had it changed. We switched out a couple of things and we will do it tomorrow morning at 5.30, so. It's an elephant, but the amazing part now will be not just the size. Look at the material that you find in here. Elephants uh, have a very poor digestive system. It's extremely poor to a point where it's about 45% of what they eat. But they will digest the rest. And as the animal gets older, it becomes even worse than that. 45% we're talking normal. Elephant, but in this case, it's even way poor. You see lots of sticks in it, but why the color red? What you find with elephants is they change the diet just per the season, depending on what's available. So they will eat a lot of grass during the wet season mm -hmm. because there's so much value to the grass, there's so much nutrients in it. So they can rest their mullahs uh, as they grind the food. Use the softer stuff that will still allow you to get enough and survive. But now the grass is not of good quality and then there are less nutrients in it. So they can't get enough of what the elephant needs to survive. Look for movement. Now, let's see. Ah, yes. We're changing camp uh, once again and this morning we finally and successfully went for a walk, for a safari walk and it was quite nice I have to say. Uh, it wasn't that much about spotting animals. We saw a jackal, an elephant, a wildebeest and something else that we were not so sure about what it was but yeah. It was more about, you know, uh, being in the bush, going, working around, seeing how things are at your own eye level, how things look, and then also, you know, explore a bit and see how, where animals walk around and live, basically.
just passing through the spot and there is clearly something burning down there you can see the smoke maybe not great we found the fire apparently yep there it is burning there's a lot of smoke and a lot of fire actually So, we found a dead impala on a tree and let's say that there are mostly two possibilities either the impala climbed the tree and died up there which is highly unlikely or there's a left part around here So now we're looking for that, I guess. Unfortunately, we weren't lucky with the leopard. Uh, there were some people saying it was over there somewhere, but we couldn't see it, unfortunately. It happens, but we saw it in other instances, so. We would really love to spot a rhino, but there's very few left. Actually, most of them live in uh, Kruger Park uh, because they're protected here more or less somewhat, although as I was saying, poaching is still a big issue. There are poachers coming in from Mozambique, not only, but mostly, and they look for rhinos. This morning we saw a spot that white rhinos used to mark their territory, but no rhinos, unfortunately. And anyway, if, even if we don't see one, it's fine, it's okay. Uh, what we care about is that they're good and uh, they're finding that there are still rhinos around. That's the important bit, let's say. And also it's uh, forbidden to say when and where you spot a rhino or even the spot, the marking spot that we saw this morning to, to tell it to other people uh, because of poaching. It's still a big issue, unfortunately. So apparently in this camp they have the bed boxes. They just went all out all together at once right now i wasn't expecting it there was a lot of bats flying around and it's a good way to you know get rid of insects Now we're back here at dawn. The impala was moved, of course, tonight, but still no leopard around. Unfortunately. And then we found the cutest baby hippo ever. So cute. <laughs> Look at him. It's almost impossible uh, to think that hippos are among the most dangerous mammals in Africa when you look at this tiny guy just playing with what we suppose is uh, his mom. Anyway, we really enjoyed all these scenes that we were able to see and record. The whole experience in Kruger has been just amazing. I think that we have to go back at some point, definitely. And we finally found a leopard. I don't think it's the same of the other side, but still a leopard.
it, it was crazy. At some point, elephants everywhere. Everywhere we were looking, there was elephants. I don't know, maybe 30, 40 elephants came out of the bush, crossed the street. It was crazy. <laughs> and that car got stuck in the middle of the elephants crossing the road. Eh, not the best experience. Maybe, oh my god, there is a tiny elephant. Oh, so cute. Still an experience nonetheless. Then we saw a couple of them fighting. I'm not sure if they were playing or not, but I think they were playing because they were looking like juveniles. So maybe they were playing a bit hard, but still playing. Last night in Kruger Park, unfortunately. We leave tomorrow, but at least we have special guests. 